Um, good day. My name's uh, Zubi Michael. Dill. An actor, movie executive, and a special assistant to His Excellency Governor William Ben of Anambra State on media. First of all, I want to thank all the um, um what's, what's it called? Health workers, yeah, and media people. Because they are the people working now, including the people selling food. You know, easy, you guys are trying, man, and so on. Quick one here. Yeah? There is a bridge between our government and the masses, which I think is because constitution. Yes. See, yeah, that constitution was okay then, due to the scenario. But now, you need to touch that constitution. Let's not capitalize on it like that. You know why? Even for Bible, I'm a Christian. We get Old Testament, New Testament. Small time, you will see latest testament. What's my point? Look at what is happening in uh, Lagos. One million boys attacking. Blah, blah, blah. If you keep quiet, or guy in the end, eh? listen, people will die. No matter the police you send there, they will go burn their van, you lose many AKs, lives and properties. But you need to, um, uh, our governors or president or anybody, you need to appoint what I call street honorable. Yeah? Street honorable. It will be a bridge between you and the poor masses. Because when I don't know the poor masses, so if we just the rule through phone, if something happened, governor will call CP, CP will call DPO for that area, DPO go send him boy, all good, office will organize. You need somebody who will use like Waka there. Street honorable, I don't want to call it youth president because it will catch fire too much. Street honorable, like in Lagos now, call Olamide. Uh -huh. Street honorable. Give him money. Go and meet this one million boys. I'm not saying negotiate with terrorists or people that are disturbing us, but no. Some of them don't even know what is Corona. Lecture them. So they need someone they respect due to his street credibility. And someone that has a good spirit. Online, they love me, my friends. But I know he's a good man. He wants the best for people. If you give a the 50 million men, go share. He will just share 60. And you know the two promoting those. So I don't look at people by how you define pictures you are posting. No, I scan your spirit to know the type of person you are. That's why some people say, Zubi, no one talk to me. Zubi hates me. No, I see how you are that you are in the spirit. So I, I rather stay neutral with you. Because if I open my tell you things where you don't do it, things that people don't know. You could have, this, this is one a native doctor. No, it's a natural gift from God. So back to my point. Give call or me there. Make him street honorable. Give him money. Go for the direct, we call him more. Baba Bear, go know what in the top. Educate these boys on these things. Tell them to calm down. The 14 days is for our own good. Make them not die. Give them small something. Everybody is fine. And av av avoid the danger ahead. Not a Kunseni Alinu. Alinu can stop riot. Once he comes out, everybody is lawyer. Street because of his hard work. And he's a good man. Make him street honorable. Call him. Not people on social media. People wait just there so many places. Someone has to communicate with these people in their own mentality, not the person where they're from Holy Adam now, not the person where they wear time. No, we are not on that frequency now. Of course, the East, you know. Is in the lap and the beat. I de see you get one day where I don't come out riot today normally. Say ka jam on the song. This one people can attest to it because they recorded it. Youth were rioting. I was driving, I just the pass. And see within that one don't hit my middle, say bar as I come down from that we know go grill the block road. Yes, in the I say what happened? They say ka jam one boy wrong and the boy died and the boy is an only son hit and wrong car. Jesus, I weak. Then it's okay. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Well, I will try my best. We will put bombs here. But this trial is not going to solve anything. I beg you to cause more damage, okay? Let's see. Uh, who is the youth president here? I've been on school. Uh, they are, they are uh, what do you call them? School youth president. I've been on school. They said I am be there. Oh, their phones there. I said, no, no, calm down. Drop those weapons. They listen to me. Last, last, we put bombs there. I don't know whether they don't, they don't bury him or something, but I, I talk with the guy. So it's time to get youth 
street honorables. Matter like this, you give them money to go and meet these boys that believe in them. They are the only people that, that can make them understand because they will listen to us due to the type of ruggedness and things we don't do. And they believe, say, these people are naturally good. They believe in us. How I take jam my governor? Go now, where I go, give one million naira, one fire catch for them. It's not like I have money, no, but I feel their pain. So, government should pick street honorables. These are the people that can tell you what is happening direct because they will go to the street and tell you what's up, and you can handle it direct and you will have stop having problems. See, if you get at Mapo where the guy do with double double magazine, if 300 boys come before they shoot 100 to 150, the other 150 will disarm them and kill you and your Mapos and your family. Who is fooling who? Oh, let's not shy away from these things. Street honorable. Olamide should handle that uh, Ogun Lagos side. Not Alinu should handle it. East, give it to me. Let me go and meet my people. And you people should be pampering also because you know you know we are big and rich and comfortable. We are, we are not, I'm not begging anybody for anything. You are going to uh, you are endangering my life. My risk gotta go take. So you have to call us and pamper us because they believe in us. So that let's go and help you and handle all these things. Everybody just they talk online. Listen, don't be a motivational speaker. Be a motivator. So I beg, I beg on uh, this one no be uh, as in dollar fifteen. I'm saying this and uh, as a media person that works with the government, okay. I will still call my governor and say, Daddy, I beg, bring money, I go meet my boys. Because if you don't do this thing now, in the next fourteen days, Nigeria will be bloody. Look at what happened in Abia State. Youth enter police station. No be where the armory, no be there the armory police station. Every, you don't see what happened for not. A whole police station youth. What, what, what is that telling you? It will be a crowd is power. So people, few of us that crowd believe in us and they know we are good men, not because uh, not this one not be saying this one is smoking, but this one not is smoking, but this one a good guy, this one not they go to church. No, we are not preaching church here. We are preaching love. Call street honorables. Let them go and meet these boys. Because if you keep this lockdown, next 14 days go there blood yeah, you can control it. It's no news that a lot of robberies are going on in Lagos. I feel very bad that nobody seemed to have talked about it. People are literally suffering. They don't have money to feed. They don't have hope. Some people can barely eat. Dealing with that, the government, I think, is looking the other way, acting like they don't see all those robberies. That the little money these people have managed to save is taken from them forcefully by people who think they have the right to our money. <sighs> I have experienced robbery and I promise you it's not something that I hope or wish for my enemy. I beg the Lagos state government, I beg the federal government to please look into this matter because just like coronavirus, it is going to spread if we ignore it. And all of us who think we, we live in gated houses, oh, we, we, we cannot, nobody can come and rob me in this area, blah, blah, blah. blah. My brother, hmm, it is only a matter of time before something like this will hit you. Please, if you have 500 followers, 200 followers, 1,000 followers, 1 million followers, I'm not just going to call on all the celebrities. I beg you to do a video to beg the, 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 the Lagos State Government to stop the robberies. Fight for us because we, should we carry guns and fight for ourselves? You say we should stay at home. We have stayed at home. Inside our house now, they will carry gun and come and, and, and come and rob, rob, rob people. Please. Making this video, and I don't want to sound insensitive, but I'm in Europe right now, and I see what is happening all over the world. I understand that a lot of us are not prepared for the outcome of the strike and stuff like that. But I don't think that federal government opening marketplaces is the right thing to do at this point. At least let this 14 days pass. Then they can open the markets or open whichever sectors they want to open. We know Nigeria does not have the facility. Even countries that are that are that are more prepared for countries that are that are better planned are struggling with this pandemic. 
we think is nothing because it hasn't come near us. So it's easy for us to accuse the government of not caring about our feelings. It's not even time for anyone to put anyone's feelings into consideration. The death that kills you through hunger is different from the type of death that kills you through coronavirus. It's more painful. So I think if you have to choose between the devil and the deep blue sea, choose wisely. Because you, we might all risk it and say, let's go out there, nothing's going to happen. But one infected person means 10 other infected people before you even start to show, before you even know what is wrong with you. Do you want to put yourself at that risk and then what happens? You call the line that they ask you to call, nobody picks up because the nurses and the doctors are too scared and overwhelmed. I mean, we just have, I don't know if we have up to 100 cases in Lagos. But if this goes on, if we do not obey the rules and regulations, what would eventually happen would be us having 1,000 cases in Lagos. The doctors, how many doctors do we have in this country, in Lagos? And as I said, how many people are even willing to die for this country? How many people are willing to take the risk to treat you? There's no cure. Nobody knows what's up. People are telling you, young people don't die. So are you telling me that all the people that have died in America are all, all old people? Or more? It's like you're not reading or you're not following the news. This shit is killing people all over the place. And Nigeria does not have what it takes to fight it if we really want to fight it. So let us help ourselves, help our brothers, help our mothers, our grandmothers, and the people that we can help by staying at home for a while. All of you that are shouting, hunger will kill you, hunger will kill you. My brother, when Corona starts, food will be a list, the list of your problem. I promise you that. I'm not trying to sound insensitive. I'm just stating the obvious. So let's not use this shit to score points and say the government does not care. Did you, has the government ever cared about us? We, like we don't know. It's now you want to look at their imperfections and start to use it. <laughs> okay, go and see what Italy is going through. Go and see the deaths and the tears. People are crying. We can avoid it because if it starts, we don't have what it takes. Nobody cares. They will use our lives to play politics. We know it. We know it. Let's not behave as if we don't know it. We know it.